Hi, we're Joel and Leah. And we are back to the book of <laughs> questions. Where did we get up to, Joel? Can't remember. Literally no idea. If you're new to this series, if you're a new subscriber, Joel and I got gifted this book called The Book of Questions. Yeah. And it's a book that has just questions that ask you about your opinions, your moral... Like, it can help gauge where your moral compass is at. Yeah. And we love making videos out of them. We love it. So often, as we said in the last video, that the title will be sort of the most interesting thing that came up in this series. Um, so, yeah, go back and have a watch. Yeah. Although we like to call it Going Deep with Joel and Leah. Joel and Leah Go Deep. First question. How would you react if you were to learn that your mate had a... Your mate. Your mate. <laughs> you said that your mate. Your... Um, so it must oh. be like that your 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 person. Oh, it must be like that your, your significant your other. Yeah, I'm going to change that. We're not animals, that. your mate. Ch- your mate. I'm going to say significant other. How would you react if you were to learn that your significant other had a lover of the same sex before you knew each other? That wouldn't be an issue, no. I don't think. Well, I think all that matters is where you are right now. As in, in that moment. In that moment. Well, if you were not expecting it, you yeah. might be like, oh, I wasn't expecting yeah. that. But that, I didn't know that information before. Yeah, but that doesn't change the way I feel about you. Or yeah. the, I think, I hope you feel about me. Oh, yeah. So that wouldn't be a big deal for me. And also, we were saying about how dated this book is. is really. Yeah, I know. Because also, bisexuality is a real thing as well. So there are loads of people that like both. Yeah. So, and um, there's not, not a problem with that. Yeah. So, <laughs> swiftly moving on, there are, I promise, there are some really good questions. There are some juicy ones. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> um, when were you last in a fight? What caused it and who won? Like I don't f- think I've ever been in like a, a physical fight. fight. Me too. Ne- me never. I'd love to be in one. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'd hate it. Imagine someone like punching you and you're yeah, your nose bleeding. Yeah, but they would because I'll dodge it. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I promise this is interesting. Okay, like, <laughs> yeah, promise we promise, guys. There is more there here. There is more, let's you, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you could choose the manner of your death, what would it be? Just dying in my sleep, obviously. Yeah, like... But oh, if you okay. can't die in your sleep. Okay, yeah. If you can't die in your sleep, then it would have to be like something so extreme. Yeah. Like jumping out of a plane, and but the parachute doesn't work, and then yeah. everyone's like, oh my gosh, and then you become the reason that laws are changed and safety changes. Yeah. Because you're like, you were that girl that that died oh, jumping out no. of a plane or you're on a roller coaster ride. This is awful. I think I think it would just need to be massive high impact, so maybe like a plane crash where as soon as you hit the ground, like you don't feel anything because you're just you're gone. Plane crash. Yeah. yeah. Extreme sports, roller yeah. coasters, plane, plane crash. crash. Shocking these are. I Obviously know. we'd rather Terrible. just die peacefully in our sleep. Yeah. But uh, just trying to make the video better. <laughs> How do you react when people sing happy birthday to you in a restaurant? I hate that. You do hate you? it. Hate I, it. I don't know. I think it depends. Like, yeah, in general, I don't like it. But if I've had a couple of Prosecco, then I can deal with then it. Then you can deal with it. Yeah. What about when you go to something like TGI Fridays and they've got their own song like happy, happy birthday da, 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 and you're just like shut and then the, up. And then the waiters get on the table they're standing yeah. and they're clapping and they're making so a massive annoying. scene and they're like oh. oh, I hate it. That's too much, it's isn't too it? Too much, way too much. Is it a British thing? Like, do we just hate the know. kind of attention of that i i don't really like big birthday gatherings i no. prefer smaller things mm-hmm. like a few friends mm-hmm. um or i like to do multiple birthdays so i'll have like a one-on-one birthday with joel mm-hmm. a one-on-one with like my friend jess and i just one-on-one do you know literally I mean? mixing friends I'm... is the worst i hate it the pressure of like are they going to get on okay i need to give attention to no one's talking to that person so, so i better talk to them like yeah. never ever mix friends it's just not that enjoyable is no. it unless they all went to school together and yeah. like it was all our friends for Rada, and we're like, yeah. oh, everyone knows each other. This is fine. Well, yeah, other than... but other than that, it just—it's really not that fun. No, it's stressful. It is stressful, and it's never an amazing night. What is the worst psychological torture you can imagine suffering? Oof. Anything causing even minor physical injury should not be considered. So nothing so physical. Only purely psychological, psychological torture. It's the you know when you watch that documentary about having a stalker. Yeah. And you told me about oh, the yeah, way yeah. that they go psychos. They constantly think. Yeah, yeah. Even though, say, the stalker is no longer there yeah that it haunts people for the rest of their lives yeah. and they they it's are unable to worry. just yeah it for me it would be something like that yeah i think that would probably be being the chased worst, down it? you wouldn't want to walk home in the yeah. dark i just think being threatened or something by someone that you don't know who it is and it could be someone close to you it could be someone a stranger 
you just have no idea so then you don't trust anyone around you so yeah I think stalk, no something trust stalking and, yeah mm. not being able to trust anyone yeah that sucks and yeah the stalker thing yeah I can't imagine that would be horrible I know okay the next one would you like your spouse to be both smarter and more attractive than you no I don't Absolutely mind not. I don't mind at all so you wouldn't mind being seen as like the dumb ugly one where they're like how on earth is she with him uh, but I don't think if that it makes me dumb or stupid if that person's like really smart and really attractive I don't know I, do, I don't know if no, it directly course, makes me feel dumb I would just be like look how that. smart they are no they wouldn't yeah, how do you know they wouldn't think that yeah well I could be the funny one <laughs> true could, like you that, can have it other would qualities. be fine if that if their qualities are really smart really yeah. intelligent the only way it would be a problem would it would would be if I just I can't if I can't just keep up in this conversation of they're always talking yeah. about something that I just can't keep up or I or, ca- or do I really care about that subject? But I, if they're more attractive, amazing. I think um, it's a really nice thing to think as well. Like I I think it's a really nice thing to be like oh my partner's more attractive, my partner's more yeah um more smart yeah because that's a nice thing to put like lift your partner up rather yeah. than be like oh they're dumb I don't like them yeah. so it's a nice thing to think but in reality I wouldn't want that to be the case I'd want to have something what, well I mean it? I am smart and I am attractive so yeah, I, mean, I probably would everything. be the other person mm. I, I just want them to be the same the same as yeah, yeah. like oh you're both yeah. kind of on the same level of yeah. intelligence where people just go oh you two are meant to be together look at you together like that's that, nice that's nice yeah that is nice because I'd want to be yeah matching in, in nearly every aspect same amount of banter same amount wow. of intelligence yeah talk about the same things yeah we, we enjoy the same things we yeah. look the same attractiveness i think yeah. that's nice yeah definitely i get that i just said yes yeah so many times yeah, yeah. I like, you've done yeah. a bit yeah. yeah i did a yeah. job yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 someone said that they missed um they were like i thought on your own channel i'd miss you saying yeah but you still managed to say yeah on your own do you are you saying that on i know I, I think i always oh. go so yeah Okay. I think I always just end everything with like, so yeah, yeah. but yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, so and so is a good one yeah, as well. Yeah, so... Okay, then uh, with the attractive thing, there could be like elements of jealousy, like, oh, maybe everyone mm-hmm. lusts over them, but the yeah. only way to fix that would be to be like, well, they've clearly only got eyes for me and they're with yeah. me for that reason. Yeah. This is a juicy one. Yeah. Okay. So would you add one year to your life if it meant taking one year from the life of someone in the world selected at random? Would it matter if you were told whose life you had shortened? So two questions in one. Firstly, would you add a year to your life if it was taken from someone else selected at random? The only way that this would be a yes would be if someone said, you are going to die by 30. Yeah. Do you want to add an extra year and you go, oh my gosh, suddenly I've only got a few years left. And then, if so, whose life... What was the second yeah. part of the question? And then, would it matter to you if you were told whose life you had shortened? Like, obviously, that's going to make a difference. If you, you were then shown footage of, like, this is the person... This is Jim, and he's, like, 18, and he's, he's like... You know, then you'd be like, oh, my, oh gosh, my gosh, I feel really guilty. Yeah, that would be horrific. But also, I think this is just every human's obsession with living for as long as possible. I don't know about you guys, but I couldn't care less about, like, the length of my life. Obviously, well... I would like to live for a long time, yeah. but I'm not obsessed with that. I'd rather have a good quality time whilst you're here, while I'm here, rather than obsessive like I need to live long. And, live, and I don't want to live long. You know, people trying to live till like they're a hundred or like as people are aging, getting mm. older and older, and medicine's getting better, so people are living longer. I don't want to live that long. Like yeah. as ailments start creeping in, and like, it's actually just like really not very nice is yeah. it? for the hum- for like the human being that's living in a body that's not working and. Uh, just everything yeah. starts to. Oh, I'd rather just have yeah, a good quality of life and yeah. die in my. Don't know if I want to roller coaster crash. <laughs> <laughs> die in my roller coaster. <laughs> can you urinate in front of another person? So can you pee? Um, yeah, can. No can problem. You? No problems. Yeah. yeah, no problems. No issues there. Wow. I mean, not everyone. Um, yeah. But a few few people. Yeah. No. What about you? Because I can't, can I? Remember, I, oh, yeah. I take forever in the loose because I have to wait for a cubicle because I can't go in urinals unless no one's in there. You just can't, it just, just won't can't, come out. Physically won't come out. Like, I'll literally be stood there and I'm like pushing and it's like nothing is coming out but I'm desperate Even for the Even if loo. five minutes ago you were like, oh, I really need yeah. the wee. Yeah, yeah, it can't happen. And I've looked it online, it's a certain percentage of people that suffer with it and it's something, it's like psychological and your muscles in your body like seize up or something and they refuse to let go to let the urine out. 
Um, and so you have to have complete privacy. That's got to be the most British thing ever, I hasn't know. it? Like, I cannot pee. I cannot pee in a urinal. In a <laughs> urinal. A urinal. <laughs> or a piss pot, as I call yes. it. Yes. Obviously for women, it's a completely different issue, isn't it? Because yeah. I've never had to pee publicly in front of strangers. Yeah, exactly. For men, you actually have to go and get your... Wang out. out. Yeah. Get your wang out. <laughs> get your wang out. But you get and your wang other out in front of all these people. Like, I, I know. I can't imagine doing that. Yeah. That's weird. It is weird. And why it's should really men gross. have to do that? I know. I don't like no, it. No, I don't like it. Um, cubicles for all, please. Yes, but I find it really difficult in America. We've said before, with the massive gaps in the toilets, it's atrocious. And the really, as a short yeah. woman, I feel like when I sit down on the loo, I'm like, yeah. well, everyone can see anyway. Yeah, yeah. Everyone can see everything right now. Awful. That is shocking. Public toilets in America. I think that's the worst thing about America. Yeah, that is probably <laughs> public the worst. Public toilets. It's probably the worst. There's, there's uh, nothing better than getting back to the UK and being like, closing the door on a public cubicle privacy. and being like, oh, yeah, finally. <laughs> if you walked out of your house one morning and saw a bird with a broken wing huddled in some nearby bushes, what would you do? Oh, I'd pick it up and take it to the vet straight away. Would you? Of course. What else? You're going to leave it to die. A broken wing huddled in some nearby bushes. What you? Oh my god! It's sad, but That's I don't so know. I, I, I don't know if I'd want to touch it with my naked hands. So I'd have to like dig right. around for something in my bag. Yeah. And then like maybe I always carry plastic. But you can bags. wash your hands afterwards. Yeah, that's true. But I don't know if I want to touch it. Um, so I'll oh. put my gloves on or anything yeah. I've got, and then pick it up and call someone and be like, then "What should I do?" Gloves. Yeah, they can get washed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just don't want to, I don't want to touch it. Oh. No, yeah, I'll just get it, put it in a box, take it to the vet and see what they would do about it. Or take it to a bird charity or someone that deals with it in yeah. wildlife. Yeah. And then That's we'd both so get our Instagram stories yeah, out and be like, I've just look, saved this saved bird. As if, like, why is that a question? As if someone's going to be like, oh, leave it there. Oh, stamp on it. Oh, maybe that's what people are saying. Like, maybe right. some people would kill it. But if it's oh, got a broken put, wing... And put it out of its um, misery. Yeah. Oh. No... Okay, I think that's enough for today. I think that's enough. That's been quite a good juicy one. Okay, if you enjoyed this series, guys, I urge you to go back and watch some of the other ones, which yeah. we will leave in the cards. Um, they're so good, yeah. if we're allowed to say that. As always, leave your comments down below, your answers to these questions. What do you do? I really want to know all your other opinions. Yeah, let us know if you kill the bird. Yeah. It's really bad. <laughs> Don't kill the bird. Um, please like and subscribe to this channel. Get the notifications on. Yep. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.